<laughs> so <laughs> this week, Rishi Rishi were trending. We had Regina Daniel's husband recently trended for saying that um, marrying multiple wives or multiple women helps save the economy. According to him, parent, uh, this prevents actually the, it prevents women from being promiscuous. You know, just it's good to have them plenty. And as we know, he has quite a few also. He has one initial one, he has, a, he has one, one foreign one also, and he has all sorts. Okay. In a related story, our darling sister, Shoma, who we all together <laughs> agreed, but yes, she's the one since 2017. She and uh, David Do, we were very, very, all of us, we got he came to us in the Southwest. But this is the wife I have brought from the Southwest. <laughs> and we accepted her with toko, toko, taya, taya, with open arms, as this is our wife. Just for him, yeah, we now saw things trending. We had something else. Why would you behave like that? So these are just issues we are hearing. And I would like to bring this conversation to our viewers. First of all, is it a crime to fall in love with a rich person or to be a celebrity? If you're a woman, is, do you, would you accept the fact that the reality that this person that you're in love with, who happens mm. to be a celebrity, very wealthy, might go, might, you know, you might not be the only one. Mm. And is that acceptable to us? Can we insist that rich men, famous men should be uh, faithful? Can they be faithful? Mm. Must right. they, because of their wealth, spread the love it, around. spread the love around <laughs> this is our conversation today because some of us are not happy if the news of david is right we're not we're hoping by god's special grace and mercy <laughs> that it is a publicity storm <laughs> mm -hmm. by god because some of us are fasting on this matter we are praying yeah, 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 it is a phase a publicity stunt but if by any if trigger of paradventure <laughs> it is true ah i want to teach you my for me by <laughs> we are Choma's aunties, and we will not accept it. Anyway, let's go to Regina Dana's question. <laughs> so, what are your thoughts on this? I mean, I mean... Uh, which one? I wish I would do it with the Regina. No, the, 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 all, anywhere, of them. all of them. But, you know, when you, when you have laid cause, mm. say, ah, if I ever leave you, if I ever shit on you, do anything, what I was carrying me far away, I'm wondering, ah, is David Osa not in that Banana Island area? Is it the lagoon that wants to carry him far away on the <laughs> Atlantic? Which one? Because I don't understand. I just, because the, the, there are different, different, different conspiracies around their own mm. story mm. in the papers. And it seems like maybe they are doing movie. Mm. Mm. Maybe this person is an actress. <laughs> so let, let, let's start with the Regina. We'll come back to David Doe for a mm -hmm. moment. But let's, let's go back to Regina Daniel's husband. Because he, he's not like David Doe. Where we, they are still, he, there's no marriage yet. Mm. Abi, mm. they still get friend, get friend. Mm. This one has married, Abi. I think yes. he's married. Yes. Yes. So married let's talk about that. the fact that he's married and he's saying polygamy. Mm -hmm. Having multiple wives is the way to go. Because in that, in that way, you are lifting women out of poverty. Mm. Especially <laughs> when you can afford it. What are your thoughts on this, Mary? Empowerment program. It's yeah. an empowerment program. Yes, the Minister of Empowerment. <laughs> <laughs> Let me come to you, Mary. What are your thoughts on this? Okay, when I heard it, I was like, ah, Minister of Poverty Alleviation. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> Uh, you know, I always say this, every marriage has its memorandum of understanding. Mm -hmm. So as long as you are clear mm. and you are truthful from the beginning that this is what I choose to do. I'm a rich, famous man. I'm a billionaire and I can take care of you. When we were growing up, we had rich men who would come to you and say, I want to take care of you, mm -hmm. you know, and they'll meet your friend the next day. I want to take care of you. So we knew the taking care of those ones that want to take care of you. Their, their goal is to take care of people that they feel need financial help. And some men go ahead and marry them and marry a few of them. And he's saying he's one of those people. But also that the women who are going into these marriages are aware that, that this is what they are going in for. So when you are aware mm. and you have signed up mm. to go into a marriage like that, then it would be uncalled for and it would almost be annoying if we were to hear you complaining about the extra ones that will come mm. behind you. Because we have heard of those women who come in as the third or fourth wife um, being mm -hmm. upset about yeah. the fifth or about sixth wife. Until you, you came, be, you know, yeah, you came after three. one, two, three, <laughs> and then you are. So as long as you are aware mm. 
that this is what is on the table and mm. you accept it. Because we even have conversations where people are saying, see, all this love is not my problem. I just need a man that will take care of me. Mm. I have suffered enough. I want to take myself and my family out of poverty. poverty. And I'm looking for a rich man. Thank you very much, However Mary. he looks, whatever he, however he speaks, however he behaves is none of my business. Okay. So thank you, Mary, for taking us there. Because even the Regina Danos herself hasn't complained. Yeah. Mm. So all of us, Boromi Deleru, we are the ones thinking, how can he? But the girl involved hasn't complained that the man has extra excess. Yeah. He, he's, she's fine, just like he said. If it's your decision, accept it wholeheartedly. Why are we the ones worried about well, this issue? Actually, I'm not worried about the issue. I just feel that this should inspire more women to aspire to be billionaires. Mm. Because don't marry my sister, don't marry my daughter because you want to help my daughter. Because my daughter is already a billionaire. Mm. She does not need your help. Um, the reason the, he, this kind of statement can happen is because he's rich and he wants to help those that don't have a lot. Mm, there's a need. There's a need. A good and he's being a cheerful giver. My, 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 own, my own feeling is there are many more ways to help. There are many more ways to contribute to um, alleviating poverty in the society. There are many more. And because if you look at the quality of life, yes, he's giving Regina Daniels a very good quality, a like very young girl. But what, when we don't attach value to money, and um, people just blow because they had um, intimate knowledge of a rich man, for me, you cannot replicate that success. I'd rather hear stories of how you are mm. empowering people to build businesses because that's the real poverty alleviation. And then it's just very annoying that in my mind, I'm like, you got to be a billionaire, man. You, you, just, you just have to show these men how to spend this money when they have it, mm. how to impact society positively, mm. and how to change their world for good. It is not by philandering. It's not by having multiple children by different women from mm. different races. Because guess what? He has different multiple mm. races that have given him different children. That's not what you do with money. That's not how you spread the money. That's not how you alleviate poverty. We need to have more rich people that have... But do you know, no, do you know you I'll, come to you, I'll come to you in a second, because we, we, spoke, we said earlier, but the fact that the government was giving out 10,000 naira to a community. Yeah. And this is how we are. That's how we are. Just give, out, give mm. them money. But you see, I think our rich men need to, be, need to start having a different way. How do we really impact society? Mm. Which is what you brought us to. So imagine somebody takes a community like Iko Siketu now. Mm. A rich man. I mean, I mean, I'm a rich billionaire. I'm Raya Falabi Brown, the richest born. woman in Africa. Mm -hmm. So, and I go to Lagos State Government. Amen. I want to adopt Iko Siketu mm. as my constituency. This is my, this is my constituency. Give and me Iko Siketu for five years. years. Now, I own Ikosiketu. I'm going to ensure I build factories in Ikosiketu. Mm. I'm going to build infrastructure, make sure that there's a power plant, mm. that everybody in Ikosiketu have free electricity. Mm -hmm. and, I, and, I, and, I, and I ensure the educational sector in that Ikosiketu, I develop it. <laughs> yes. because I am the most And I employ the Ikosiketu people in my factory. So, so they have if jobs. you go to live in Ikosiketu, you go to, there's a system that I build because I am using that money. Now you build an entire system from Ikosiketu alone. Mm. And then? And then your women, your daughters are empowered. They don't have to yeah. go and marry somebody a like a, a, a Mr. Regina. What's, what's the man's Daniel name, sir? What is it? I keep calling him Regina Daniel's husband. <laughs> what's his name? Oko. Mr. Daniels. <laughs> no. Oko. Oko. Ned Oko. Ned Oko. Oko. God bless you. Ned Oko. Oko. Ned Oko. Yes. I think he was former senator. Yes. Former senator Ned Oko is old school. It's from my grandfather's generation where my grandfather had to marry. No, I'm saying. The mentality, the <laughs> because you. empowerment of women those days was uh -huh, by marriage and multiple children, so that you have your your own children. My grandmother had her own farmland space where her children and her would till, and they were harvest. They would bring home grandpa would to check over it. They would share, and it was empowerment, so that she made sure her children were not hungry. And that one they dealt with it like that. So maybe that's because that that's the only form of empowerment that Nedwoko is explaining. Mm. From what he's saying, that's what he's explaining. So I marry you, I take care of you and your needs, I've empowered you. Mm. You can ask for money, you have a right to now say, okay, monthly allowance of one million, I can buy Kayamata of two million on your bill, you know? Imagine that, she went to buy Kayamata, five million, five million Kayamata, five you, million you, you naira naira Kayamata on his bill. And so, ah, even the marketer of the Kayamata was just going, yes sir. <laughs> So I didn't she and the she and the the vendor she and the vendor sat down together. She gave the vendor ten thousand dollars. Boom! 
the girl was holding it, used as a fan. Fan. Talking mm -hmm. about so while they're talking, she was bringing out all Mega the bids. One, one, one bid that five hundred thousand naira. This is the wife. Oh. One bid five hundred thousand naira. So mm -hmm. she bought three. That's one point five million naira. Mm -hmm. Then she know the other chocolate that all this kind of matter matter. While they're doing that, uncle comes in. The senator, the former senator, who the came husband. in. The husband came. Oh sorry, the husband came in. And as I was coming in, the vendor was like, Oh, welcome, sir. Before. Give me, sir. Give me, sir. <laughs> Give me. I'm like, hey, Father Lord. You'll be smiling from ear to ear, <laughs> as in, from ear, from ear. Okay. As in, so, I, mean, I, so, I can't okay. hide my shock. I didn't see that video. Oh, I saw it. I saw then Regina okay, could so, um, that for that. First of all, so the, these are this another weird. side of the story, mm -hmm. and um, <laughs> from the We're way showing the well. Yeah, yeah. So no, apart from showing the well, there's a there's a there's a marketing that goes on about Kaya Mata where it's supposed to help you keep your man mm. or steal someone's man. Oh. So she has gotten into a place where there are competitors. Yeah. And she has found something for her to, to make sure that she keeps her, her space. place. And I think that's what that's about. Oh, but now I'm talking about empowering women and saying you teach me how to spend. They know how to spend their money. They spend it on the things that they like. And they like women. Mm. So, so in the olden days, women. yes, in the olden days, men would... Um, daughters will be given out to very rich men so that the community will, would, benefit. will benefit from that marriage. Mm. Countries were, were formed, alliances, alliances between countries were formed mm. through marriages. Mm. So women have always been used in that way. Ah. Mm. But now, the they difference is that then it used to be forced on you. Mm. You didn't have a choice, but now it's a choice. Mm. Women are growing up from their 18, 21, whatever, and they're saying, you know what, I prefer this. This is what I want from this person. And many women have empowered themselves beyond just buying Kai Mata things. Mm. Some people have started businesses, some people have opened companies, some people have employed people. Staying I on personally, this point. I would not advise that sort of marriage. I don't find it appealing in any way. But people have built lives based on that sort so of marriage. So staying on that, Mariam, so if, if, if that's your objective, mm. can it be for the greater good? Where you're doing it for your community. So, a regional diners, for example, is not just building, buying kayamatas and building houses. She's actually using that money for her entire family mm -hmm. and to all members of their entire wider community. I'm sure she's probably well, doing that. Yeah. But the point is that. Don't have. Uh, mm -hmm. So, our society, but she's done well for her mom because, you know, that was, the f that was my first um, opportunity of knowing her was when she did the house for her mom, the car for her mom. It was kind of like, ah, this young girl, what did she. By this, I was born busy for a minute. Yeah, well, yeah, by extension, yeah. at the mm -hmm. time she wasn't even married yet when she launched the house, small girl, big god kind of thing. And I feel that we have sold this narrative to so many young women Close. that they are, as a young girl sure. with a brain, your brain is so powerful, and what you want to use your brain to do is to clean up your body so that you would appeal to a billionaire. And that's your life ambition. I am sorry. There is a lot more you can contribute to this world with what God has deposited in you. Mm -hmm. So you see many girls that will take injections. They will do all sorts of body repair so that they would appeal to these billionaires. We just need to provide other options for people on mm -hmm. how to acquire wealth. Okay, someone, so, someone said to me that um, when, when we're discussing the chairman's own side of things, that it's a, it's a lifestyle she's chosen that... She, some girls, you know, date a rich guy, get pregnant and have a child. Baby mama is a business. Hmm. And that she's happy and we're worried that, you know, she, she knows that it will not pass that point. That, you know, and a lot of women don't move beyond that point and they're fine. Just to add to what Tokwa is saying that, hmm. you know, for some women, dotting off your body and starting is business. Having a child so you that get ambition. maintenance. Hmm from a big man is business. Hmm. And I know this particular trade of having a child for a big man is as old as time. Yeah. Mm. But they used to be called Iyawo because they say, oh, Lord, 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 you, you will be made to do certain, certain um, traditional things as regards marriage, you know, or, or what they call the mommy moe. It will end at mommy moe. That's the, the, the introduction, introduction to the family. You right. will show up at the family. You don't just pick up the girl as a mistress. Get her pregnant and she's going to be. You show up. Your, somebody amongst the family or your family, even if it's your driver, will know that this is your side somebody. So that, at your, you know, there's always that kind of mm -hmm. need to me. But this is what that happens now. Where they call it runs and all of that. But, but, they, but, but Chema, Chema was probably introduced. Remember, yes. there was an introduction. So though mm -hmm. there's no there's physical marriage, video there's a whole video of the proper info. And there was a song <laughs> to her name. So <laughs> we're not, uh, see, that I David Mata, I think, we should, keep, I think yeah. we should keep the David Mata to fight we because we would... Uh, yeah?
We should wait until David Doe right. lets us let, us let us hear from David Doe. Mm -hmm. Let us not jump, let let us not jump to conclusion. Let's give the benefit because I, I trust David Doe. Uh -uh. uh -uh. What are we carrying? Um, um, no, he can't do that. No, uh, sure. He'll come back. He's also those, those away matches. Mm. He'll be back home because Atlantic we know that. Uh -uh. Let's, but, not, let's not talk but, about but you, David But you Doe. see, for me, another thing is we, we, many of us, many of young girls now, they rush to social media to validate their relationships. But what validates your relationship is the commitment between both of you. Yeah. It's the marriage. Yeah. But you rush on social media and post my bae, my boo. He has no wife you. You are posting my bae, my boo. boo. The next thing, your relationship breaks up. You are kissing online. He's touching everything online. He's bae, your boo. You don't have a ring, go. So your social media mm. post does not validate your relationships. Yeah, but we have non-introduction. Yeah, yeah, Moving on to, I have, a, a, I have a call from Nike. <laughs> Nike, are you there? <laughs> yeah, hello, Mariah. Good hello. morning. Hello, hi, Nike. Good to have you. Uh, good morning, Trim Chopper. Good morning, Miriam. Good morning, Ajia. Yeah. Good morning. Mm -hmm. I'm happy. I'm a first-time caller. Anyway. Welcome yeah, to the show. You guys today. I'm watching you now. But mm -hmm. yes, concerning this... Um, um, comment by the so-called Senator Ned Woko. Yeah. Personally, personally, I even, I, I'm, I'm disgusted mm. by the Regina Daniel thing because this is a small girl and it shows the moral decadence in the society. Sure. You know, how can we be encouraging things like that even going on on social media? You bought KM Mata of five million naira when somebody needs just hundred thousand to survive. Mm. And this man is saying that he's empowering women. Are women properties? Are women think he's seen as oh they need help? Let me just marry them and give them help. I think such comments should be he should be cautioned about such comments. Mm. When you marry a woman, you should love the woman. He's not a prop she's not a property. And she does something, an item she does have in the house. Mm -hmm. That uh, when you need money, ask me. When you ha need this, ask me. People mm -hmm. should be more. I, I mean, if we, if, if we in this Nigeria, if we have ten of Ned in Woko that can do things for the society, instead of marrying small, small girls, his children hate me. Right. Thank you very much. I you know, know we used to call Nigeria the you know, United States of Dangote. Mm. You know, he's everywhere, Dangote. We need more of those kind of people yeah. to do more things. So we might have like a, a 10 or 15 Dangotes um, across the yeah. country. Maybe things will be different. Mariam. Yeah. You know, I like the angle that she brought because sometimes when we look at this and we look at like a billionaire and we say, okay, because he has a lot of money to share maybe, but then we also have regular people who barely have anything. And when you go to meet them for, let's say you're looking for a job or you just need their help and it will become a meet me somewhere. Mm. So it has now become a mentality mm. yeah. that has now moved to, okay, I'm actually doing it for marriage. But it's really about that thing we do even from the basic level mm. where a student comes to a lecturer and she's saying, I'm having um, issues with my grades. Is there a way you can help me? And it's come and meet me, you know, mm. somewhere. Mm. So that is that mentality. And this sort of marriage has now caused, there's a value chain to it. So now this sort of arrangement has now caused the Kayamata market explosion. Mm. So the fact that we're sitting down, we're openly discussing how you can take other people's men and mm. how you can keep someone down, how the person can spend package. on you in such a way that he's unaware of what he's doing. So that's deceitful and almost mm. stealing because he's not supposed to be aware that he's doing all these things and openly for you. Now. So um, that, that thinking, that mentality, um, you know, our last caller is right. We need to we need to stop that. There are different ways to help people. There are different ways to help women. Mm. But then we know we live in a time where women make their choices. And that's right. the truth. There mm. used to be a time feminists fought for these things mm. where a woman is supposed to be able to make her own choice and choose where she wanted right. to be or who she wanted to right. be with and how she wanted to be. And now, after that, we have a time where people are choosing to go back to what we thought was oppressive. Mm. Let me take this call. Good morning. Because Regina is an adult. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Hassan. Are you there? Good morning, Morayo. Thanks for calling your life. Good morning, members of the panel. <laughs> <laughs> Look, um, there's an issue here. We are talking about society generally. How degrading, how depreciating our society has become in Nigeria mm -hmm. about money. And people are getting into marriage without law. Men are looking for money anyhow in order to marry beautiful women. Mm. And beautiful women are getting into the homes of men they don't even love. Mm. 
Mm. So, the risk is two sides. You are keeping a woman, you knew in the, in, 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 in the inner side of you that she's living with you because of the money, mm. not because she loves you. You are at risk. The same thing with the woman, sleeping with the man she doesn't love. Look, mm -hmm. nothing differentiates you from sleeping with the prosecutor. Because no any strings attached on both sides, both the woman and the man. And that is why we are having problems. There is a social dislocation in our society. You see people marrying with money, but they want a law. How do you get law? And a lot of parents nowadays look at all these artists. One before the video, the parents are looking at him in this level, impregnating their daughter two times okay. with children there and they are proud mm -hmm. of it. Mm -hmm. That tells you about the materialism mm -hmm. that is becoming mm -hmm. the order of the day. Mm -hmm. People have thrown caution to the wind. They don't care. Mm -hmm. What they do is the money. They are watching money. Let us pray. This money don't, doesn't kill us. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Hassan. Mm, thank you, Hassan. Because I wanted to answer what you said, which Jodai is at least an adult. adult. Beyond uh, Jodai being an adult, is her mother, who's supposed to be a guardian or, or you know, a parent. And we know that even in Nigeria, we have the tradition of your family co being consulted in any marriage arrangement. Is it that everybody sleep, put her in the same place, or how? I don't understand. Mm. That nobody mm. in the family, even the father, when he was comp complaining, it was because of the the money that was flying around. Ah, all me. this rain, that, all this rain that is raining. I will not get, it will not rain in my own compound. Do you understand? It, it was, it, for, for me, it's not the level of um, uh, immaterialism. It's the level of poverty that would, you know, poverty mm. of the mind that would get a family to that point. I, <laughs> I remember when we were young, my sister would kill me for this. She was <laughs> on IT in a particular firm and the boss, you know, the way the bosses usually do the young girls, they just call her, ah, have this for your weekend. And my sister got to her office and opened it and it was a 50,000 naira bundle for her weekend. Excitedly, she came home with it. My father? My father wasn't even around. It was my mom. I, and I saw her. And I saw her. And I God forbid in my house. I mommy, we are broke now. 50,000. I, I will slap you. And it was a crazy weekend until mm. Monday morning. She was made to return the said bundle. Mm -hmm. So oh God, this for the weekend, I'm too small for this kind of weekend mm -hmm. bundle, you know. Mm -hmm. My Neva, mom questioned that. You didn't even question Neva, thank you for taking us there. Because I want us to bring this conversation, because I wanted to bring conversation home. Where are our parents? Mm. Where are the adults? Where are the counselors? Where are those, those aunties that will direct us? Where are they? Everybody's quiet. Yes. No. When a season where, ah, mind your business, who face your front. They meet the Arabi or Mumba and so you know. So it's like we we're seeing we're seeing young girls being portrayed as properties, as elements to remove out of poverty, as people you can just yes after introduction disrespect you outrightly, and we're just all moving on like nothing happened. Okay, listen, it's not me. Is that where we are as a society, or where are the adults? Where are the parents in this conversation? Mariah, we have allowed noise. We have allowed noise drown out the truth. Mm. We have allowed flamboyance drown out values substance. and yeah. the substance that we should have. Mm. So I grew up having that experience. I like someone gave me a phone, mm. and it was my boyfriend. My mom knew, and I, I did not take it. And I told him he needed to come and give my parents because it just didn't work. Mm. Yet we have now. People telling the parents telling their children, don't you know how your your mates are getting yeah, it? Yes. That's why are you being dull. So we mm. have allowed the noise of the world drown out what should mm. be the truth right. of our values. And mm. until we go back to it, and the, the truth is there, but there's so much noise. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we need to now deliberately start looking for who is saying the, the truth. truth. Let me take this call from Blessing. Mm. Blessing, are you still there? Mm. Yes, sir. You're live. Go ahead, please. Okay. Good morning. Morning. Go mm. ahead, please. Okay. One thing I just want us to know is that for all of you there, your parents, right? Mm -hmm. You have your girls there. Yeah. Okay. I thought for all of you there, yes. you have your girls at home. Yes. You have your girls at home. Mm -hmm. and, they, they, and there is a way you are bringing them up. 
One thing I want you to please discuss on this station is about birth control. We've lost it. Birth control is very, very important. You see people having children they cannot take care of. Mm -hmm. That is a very, very important. Please, Mario. Thank you very please, much. Please. Birth control mm. definitely is something we need to talk about, and mm. we certainly mm. will take your advice on that and, and make mm. it as a topic. Mariam, I want to also end up on this segment, and I'd like yeah. you to hear it. Final words. Okay, so, you know, I, I just like what you said about when, when you ask where are our parents, and this question does not only come up with things, I mean, in this situation. I remember when we were talking about Invictus Obi and Hush Puppy. Mm. The question was really, where are the parents? And I would, ne I would not forget, I would forever in my mind remember the social media trends, which a lot of people were saying, my father actually encouraged me to do this. Or my father said to me, your friend is doing it, they did not catch him. Why would they catch you? So mm. our parents, where they are, their hands are deeply inside mm. this sort of money. Mm. Their mouths are covered with greed mm. and selfishness. They don't mm. even care about the welfare of the child. Mm. They only care what that child can bring, for, bring to them. I've given birth to you, so how do you pay me back? You know, we have a culture where um, we've had, you know, even churches are talking about it. The parents are sitting there and expecting after you're done with school that you should bring an amount of money back. You're working as a political officer or a politically exposed person and you're expected to misuse your office, steal from your office to come and settle your parents mm. and your yeah, community, right. something that is expected. So it is all over now. It's not just with marriages. It's right. everything that we mm. do. We're all greedy. We're all uh, selfish. We're all materialistic. I mean, so I think we, we have to wrap up on this topic, but, uh, but it's something that we're going to have to keep talking over and over again. Yeah. We all have experience where our father, I mean, I, I, know, I know my father has beaten up a guy in front of me. Not to beat him, but he slapped his face. He came to the gate to come and look for me at 7 p.m. I will that never forget me. that day. He came outside and yeah. said, who are you looking for? I just he slapped the guy. No respect. So that's, those, those are the parents we grew up with. Those are the values yeah. we had. But, now, but we still have those parents, you know? Mariah, but we now... They but they've been drowned. They've been drowned, as you yes. said. They've been drowned. They're not the cool parents. Anyone they don't know what's up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we don't we value them. Too. Please, value your Unfortunately, parents. we have to wrap up on this. Let's go on a break. When we come back, we started the conversation last week. Would you like to conclude, conclude today? Stay with us. We'll be right back.